And we're continuing to follow the story that hit national headlines yesterday when two Alabama fugitives were captured in Indiana. Now, one of them, a man charged with capital murder, and then the other one, a corrections officer who helped him escape. Tonight, ABC 17's Megan Drakus is live with us four and a half hours away in Evansville, Indiana. Megan, authorities found new evidence which shows the couple was in Evansville as early as last week. Now, Deb Lucas, a local car wash reported an abandoned car last week to authorities, but Authorities didn't quite put the details together until Sunday when they finally figured out that the car had belonged to the fugitives. Now escaped inmate Casey White and Vicki White escaped Florence, Alabama, and then traveled here to Evansville, all while going through multiple cars along the way. Last week, a local car wash spotted an abandoned Ford F-150, which the couple left and presumably moved on to the Cadillac that they were found in. The car wash owner reported it, and eventually U.S. Marshals found out it was stolen and was being used by the couple from security footage from the business. They purchased the F-150 and uh, drove it here, and where they got the Cadillac, I'm not sure. Now, Deb Lucas, the couple was found in possession of $29,000, but they originally started with around $90,000, so some of that cash could have been used to buy additional vehicles. For now, reporting live in Evansville, Indiana, Megan Drakus, ABC 17 News. All right, Megan, thank you. Casey White will be sent to Alabama soon to face additional charges for the escape.